What a very hot day, said Mother Hippo. I'll have a nice wallow in this fine, cool mud. And I'll have a nice little walkabout, said Young Hippo. So off he went through the tall yellow grass, tottering along on his little round feet. Before long, he came to a rock, and there he saw a mother lion playing with her cubs. My own little darling, she purred. My sweet, silky, cuddly little darlings. You're the most beautiful darlings in the whole wide world. And she nibbled their little round ears. Pardon me, ma'am, said young Hippo, but am I beautiful too? Mother Lion studied young Hippo's leathery shape. Oh, that's not for me to say, young fellow, she told him. I'll run along. So young Hippo trotted along, and soon he came to a lagoon. There he found a father heron, giving dancing lessons to his children. Spread your wings, he was saying. Lift your legs daintily. Bend your pretty necks. There. Well, if you aren't the most beautiful little creatures I've ever seen. Young Hippo tried a few dance steps, but he couldn't do much with his neck. Look at me, he called to the father heron. Am I beautiful, too? Father heron considered young Hippo. You know, I just can't tell, he said. You have no feathers. Best trot along now, young man. Ask someone at home. Young Hippo went trotting back to his mother, and then on the way he came to a thatched hut. There he saw a lady playing with her baby. Ah, she crooned and lift her baby high in the air. You're the dearest, fattest, most beautiful little baby in the whole world. And she kissed the baby's small, fat fingers, one after the other, till he squealed with happiness. Young Hippo wanted the lady to look at him, so he tried to sit up, but fell over on his back. There he lay, his four little legs sticking straight up in the air. Look at me, he called. Am I beautiful, too? Oh, you silly little piglet, said the lady, laughing. She laughed and laughed and laughed. She just couldn't stop laughing. Hmm, said the young hippo, getting back on his feet. I, I best ask my own mother. So he hurried home, and there was his own mother, very happy in the mud. Mother, he said as he tried to stand on his head, look at me. Am I beautiful? Are you what? asked his mother. Beautiful, shouted the young hippo as he flopped over. His mother laughed, and she climbed out of the mud and said, Sugar Plum, all hippos are beautiful, and you're the most beautiful of all because you're mine. And she gave him one of the world's biggest kisses. It was a beautiful kiss. I love you, little mother, said young hippo. This next headstand will be a perfect one, just for you.